We had planned this trip up north for Venus's birthday, but because of Hurricane Nicole, we had to postpone it. But right at 12, we give her a happy birthday cookie with some whipped cream, blackberries, and raspberries, all her favorite things. And of course, we were gonna celebrate a little bit here at home and wait for a few days until we could hit the road and go up north. Happy birthday, mommy! You look so adorable! And in the morning, we took a few cute pictures for Instagram to tell everybody that was her birthday and look how cute she looked matching with her daddy it looked adorable and for lunch we took her to outback steakhouse we ordered her a ribeye pretty rare and with no seasoning obviously they have an area the dogs could sit outside is pet friendly I know for sanitary reasons dogs have to eat outside but i don't enjoy eating outside so we took it home which is better for us anyway I feel bad I didn't got her a cake this year, but at least she have a ton of cookies. Super adorable from Woofer. We're finally going on Venus's birthday trip. It's around 8 a.m. and we are planning tonight to drive between South Carolina to North Carolina to stay somewhere around the border. Uh, maybe push it a little bit to Charlotte, but we are not sure where we are staying tonight. Somewhere around there. And tomorrow we are getting to our main destination, West Virginia. I'm so excited. I hope everything goes really well and that we have fun on this trip. From South Florida to West Virginia was around 13 hours. We could have done it in one day, but I didn't want to get to West Virginia at night. It's the first time that we're going. I didn't know how well or bad the roads are. To be safe, I want to get there on daytime, that's why we are stopping in the Carolinas. Apollo, are you going to see a beaver? <laughs> Venus, are you going to see the beaver? There's the house of the beaver. Pocket! Bungie! Between Miami and Jacksonville, which is the borderline with the state of Georgia, is around 5 hours. We only did one stop in Bucky's because we love Bucky's and that's a mandatory stop.
Even if the sky is falling down Even if the sky is falling down The sky is falling down To the left. The room key. Oh. Well, I'm not going to get it. Come on, guys. We are in Rock Hill, South Carolina, and we are staying in the home to by Hilton. The night was $140, and I'm not sure if there was a pet fee or not. I told them I had pets with me, and they didn't tell me anything about the pet fee, and they didn't charge extra. So I'm not sure if the guys was really nice, or if there's not a pet fee. This is so unique. I have never seen a room they have that privacy kind of curtain. That's so cool. Look, Shrek, you have your own room. <laughs> the hotel room looks really nice and is very, very big. Look all the area that the dogs have. And it have a small kitchenette area. With a fridge, a few plates, microwave. The bathroom. I thought the door was going to smack the toilet. It's like <laughs> right there. <laughs> we brought the rug from home. Don't think that it's weird. There's a rug in the couch. Uh, that's Rex rug. He doesn't like to sit on cold floors. Here they have a rug, so it will have been fine. But just in case, I brought his rug from home. You're ready for food? Yes? I think it's time to one wheel them. They're getting energy. Tired doggos are good doggos, so we like to bring our one wheel or something to exercise them when we get to a hotel, especially that today's trip was so long, we were in the car for around 10 hours, so we want them to stretch their leg, run, and drain all their energy. You're cold? I'm freezing. Oh my God. <laughs> Go Venus! The temperature here in the Carolinas was 35 degrees, so it was pretty cold, for, especially when you're in the one wheel running and the air is hitting your face, it feels a lot colder. Where is Venus? Oh, look, where is Venus? There she's coming, buddy. There's Venus. It's the next day and we have three and a half hours to our next destination in West Virginia. We took a while this morning, we slept in because check-in is not until 4 p.m. So we have plenty of time. This set of tunnels are one of the longest one we have been in a really long time and we love them. 
Jay love tunnels and we always have fun getting routes that have tunnels. But this one I wore really really long and we enjoy them very much. We made it to West Virginia. This is a new state for us. We have never been here and I'm so excited to explore it. Before coming, I watched a few YouTube videos from different people to see which was the best area to come. And we are going to be staying in Beckley, I believe is the name of the town. And we choose a place called the Cabins at Pine Heaven. We saw adventures of Matt and Nat. They stay there and they look lovely. So we want to check them out for ourselves. And they're pet friendly, which is always a plus. We have to support all the businesses they allow us to come with pets. This is the cabin that we choose for our stay. It looks super cute. So this is our cabin. And it have a living room, a small uh, dining room area, and a kitchen. bathroom and this is the back with a hot tub let's see What do you think, Venus? That's what I was recording. <laughs> she look at door. I think she. Yes. And then they just not sure if she could fit through there.
they told us there was a trail behind the cabin and I'm not sure if this is the trail or if we are just walking through the woods We did found the trail and it's super cute. All the leaves in the ground and the creep sound of us walking on it. I love that this was what I was expecting for fall. We took a bunch of cute Instagram photos of Venus and Apollo with the leaves and in the trail. Venus, go. It was a very small trail and very easy to use. It wasn't difficult at all. It was very pretty with all the fallen leaves. And Venus and Apollo loved it. We saw a bunch of squirrels and we saw trails of deers. So they are in the hunt for the deer. Good boy, good girl. What do you see down there, Venus? There's that deer. He's so small. You see him, buddy? Yeah. It's very cold. It's in the twenties and I'm freezing and they are loving it, of course. <laughs> Maybe today we have a little bit of a snow showers with rain, so it's getting super, super chilly, and Venus is loving it. I don't think it will stick the snow, so I don't think we will see it, because um, it's not cold enough. The property is 10 acres and we did a loop around all the cabins to seal the different ones. They also have three houses but sadly those are not pet friendly. I wish they were, I wish I could stay in those. Guys, 
guys are you guys are excited yes we're exploring all the fuck make me look like we're driving through the clouds it looks so cool is going fast take the exit then turn right onto Meadow Creek Road <laughs> you cannot see anything there's so much fog well, you can see there's a, a valley there a little bit you guys starting to open up a little bit which I love how it looks. It looks like we are in the clouds. Use the right lane to turn onto Fayette Mine Road. Here is the bridge, but there's so much fog. It's still raining a little bit, and it's gonna snow in a little bit. So I don't know if bring the dogs or not, but it looks really nice. There's another point of view where you can see it from farther. I'm gonna see if I could get there. smog the fog look on the bridge i just wish there was a little bit of sun i think it would look really cool because it will look like it's a bridge in the clouds yeah it looks cool i wish it wasn't raining though so we can go all the way down yeah it's there kind of, it's kind of slippery here there's some stairs here that keep going down if you want to see it more up close but it's a little slippery with the rain and i don't know i'm not sure if i want to do that We left the New River Gorge National Park and it came to Babcock State Park. There's a meal that is very photogenic and we want to see it, take a few pictures. It looked very lovely, like a fairy tale kind of place. So I definitely want to check it out. This is one of the spots most photographed here in the state of West Virginia and it's the mill right there. It looks super cute and it's too super accessible from the road.
Jay went to the other side of the river to get the camera to take a picture of the three of us in this side of the windmill. The rain and the cold weather, it was a blessing. We had the place all empty for ourselves. We could take as many pictures as we wanted in all the different spots that we want to take pictures. There was no one. We were the only ones there for a while. When we were leaving, another family showed up, but we were already leaving. I really love going to places when it is a little bit off season or when the weather is not great because we have the place just for ourselves. We saw this place in a YouTube video of the channel Adventures of A plus K and we loved it in their video so we needed to check it out and when we saw it was pet friendly, I was like, yes! back to the cabin it started falling a little bit of snow and it looks so pretty i love seeing both season colliding the fall and the winter it looked very lovely and we're gonna go back to our cabin warm up by the fire order something to eat watch a movie or something